Tariq puts each letter of his name on a piece of paper. What is the probability he will draw a U and a T in, in any order? I guess he put them in a hat, too, and drew them. Well, let's look. So we got the probability of U or T in any orders. So while this is a compound probability, it's changing as we draw out the letters. Depending on how you look at it. Well, okay, whatever. So in the first drawer, he's got two possibilities out of how many letters are in his name? Seven. But if he keeps that letter out, then there's only one letter left that will happen out of six. That gives us two out of 42, which is the same as one out of 20 Juan, which as a decimal. One out of twenty, Juan. Zero point four seven and a six, which is about forty-seven point six percent. Oh, there's a zero. Oh my God! Four point seven six percent. Now, clearly, for some of you guys, that does not make a lot of senses. And that's okay. There's another way we can look at this, and that would be okay as well. I'm okay with either. All right, this is the name. We want to know the probability of choosing a T or a Q in any order. So we have two drawers, right? Drawer number one. Number one. And then we got number two. Uh, so on draw number one, we can either get T, A, R, I, Q, U, or E. Now, if he keeps the letter out of wherever the heck he's drawing this, then he's only got six choices at, after he draws one. For example, T, he couldn't draw another T after that because he's already got, the, he's, he's taking it out of the hat or bag or whatever the heck it is. So we have we would start with A R I Q U and E. So let's fill those in. So these would be one of them. The T and the Q would give us a this one would satisfy the conditions. We'll just put a check mark next to it. T Q. The other one is Q T. It's T U, not Q. Oh T U, yeah, sorry. Let me go back. U. This one would be a check mark. So if we got a U, the only one that would come out on this is the UT. That's two out of, there was seven here and six right here, which would give us 42. Now I didn't make the full table or the tree diagram, but you should so that you can see everything. On the other hand, I would be okay if you guys did it without him keeping one of these out because it didn't really specify. All right, so let's start over, but we're going to say that we're assuming that old Tariq is going to keep all the letters in the hat or whatever the heck he's pulling it out of. So that would tell us that we have two possibilities out of seven. But remember, that's not equals, by the way. But on the second drawer... We can only we only can have one of those two. So that would be one out of the two. Sorry, one out of the two possibilities, and there were seven possible choices. You said it was out of six. So I'm doing this differently because I'm okay with both answers. Right? So that would give us two out of forty nine er, which as a decimal gives us zero point. 0 0.408, 0 which is also 4.08%. So I would be okay with both answers. It just depends on how you look at it. 